sometimes in your Access databases, you may want to add pictures, um, some sort of graphic images that can add style and professionalism to your forms. And you can add pictures, logos, or clip art to Access databases. The form section where you place your images is pretty important. Form sections are what determine where controls are displayed and printed. And in your book on Access, page 68, you can see a table of the different form sections. You can see that if you place an image in a form header or a form footer, when you print your database, it will print once at the top or at the end of the last page of the printout, depending on whether it's the header or the footer. If you place an image in a detail section, however, it will print once for every record. So you'll want to be conscious or conscientious of that. You can add an image control in either layout or design view. However, if you want to place an image in the form header section, you have to do that from design view. And since I believe I want to add my image to this header section, I am going to switch over to design view. Once I'm in design view, I need to select the form header section bar, and I do that simply by clicking. And once I have clicked, that is what is selected, so I can click Insert Image, which is a button in the Controls group of the Design tab of your Form Design Tools section. And when I choose Insert Image, I'm going to browse my computer for the image. Now I have my images saved in SkyDrive, so I would navigate to SkyDrive and then my CCC folder. I have a 110 folder. Access is inside of there, and then Unit C. But you would navigate to wherever you save your image files. And the one that I'm looking for for this is that Quest logo. So I can double click it or click it once and select OK to insert it into my database. You can see now that my cursor has the little um, icon of an image there. So I get to decide where I want to add that. So I think I want to add it about at that three inch mark on my horizontal ruler. So if I click there, that is where my image will be added. I can tell that the image is selected because it does have the little squares here. So while that, and it has the orange border. So while it's still selected, I'm gonna use my pointer to drag the lower right corner of the image up and towards the left to resize it. And so I'm going to need to scroll down a little bit and over. And you can see that my pointer turns into the one with two arrows. And when I get that, I can drag it up and to the left. And I'm going to drag it so that it is about um, one inch by one inch. So that looks a little bit better, I believe. And I'm going to drag the top edge of, um, of that detail section up and when I drag that up, I want to have it um, come up so that it rests right below where my image ends. So there's not all that blank space if I print this out. So I think that that looks a little bit better already. So that was using the sizing handles, those smaller squares, to resize my, in, um, my image. Now that I've added my image and I'm kind of happy with where it is and how it looks, I could even you know move it over maybe a little bit, but um, my book doesn't tell me to do that, so I'm just going to leave it right here. I can click the Save button on the Quick Access Toolbar, and that saves the changes that I just made. And now I'm going to click View, and I'm going to switch over to Form View so that we can see how that looks. Now that I'm back in form view, you can get a better idea of what that image looks like in my section um, form header. So if you're following along in the book, this is the point where you are asked to enter or create a blank record, which you would do by clicking down at the bottom on the create new record button. And once you click there, you would just need to type your information in.
Notice when you're filling in the start date, you can do it by either typing the date in in the correct format, or you can use the calendar feature to do that. Now, for me, on this one, since the date is so far in the future, it seems a little bit quicker to simply type the date in, but I could just click the correct date on a calendar as well. Remember that after we fill in the duration, the To Impress tab, the To or End Date, is going to fill in automatically. Also remember that when I choose the category, it will update the description automatically, so there's nothing that I have to put in there. And now I have created my new record. Now, once I've created this record, and please in this one, type in your last name, not student last name. So I'll go ahead and just change it to mine so you can see how that should look, except for it should be your last name if you're doing this. Um, once I've created that record, I want to show you what it looks like um, when we print our record. So to do that, I would click File, and then I would choose Print in the navigation bar. And if you click Quick Print, it's going to go directly to your default printer. We don't want to do that. We want to choose Print. And we only want to print, in this case, the selected record. And then we would click OK. And that would print out just that one record. So you don't actually have to, um, have to do that. I'm going to go to Print Preview just to show you what that would look like. If I would print that selected record, then it would print out just like this. So again, you don't actually have to print that, um, but I do want you to see that if I print everything, even though all of my records are showing, the only time I see that image is that one time in the section header instead of beside each individual record.